The Mike Gallagher Show, weekdays at 9. a guest on president with the always calm thing across the border and that's a fact no, no, look no. at what's going on mm -hmm. he grabbing I recognize blackface this now that you've broken this are you questioning my character I'm not that be there uh, and joy wasn't in The face, her skin color. Trouble for that. And Whoopi just, you notice. So he got some publicity for that. When we come back, we are not going to talk to you. Um. We're living in a very uh, How do we reach those people? Joel Gilliam, Executive Director at Light of Life Rescue Mission. in our education and employment program to connect with workforce development. They're clean and they are ready to move on. Or Google or, or Amazon or these other places. And so, else find their comeback story to become at regenerate me pittsburgh now in bethel for just a hundred dollars for a limited time Advanced non will.
think la story of the the fact that we can be able to do that in the movies a good way to to, to call Right now is the perfect time to get your The idea for Harry's came out of a frustrating experience I had by Simple. Here's our secret. We make sharp trying to out socialize and communism up close. Biographies of Ronald Reagan and Barry Goldwater. Long time as I said, did you ever think it would Well, I think back to, I think it was 1988. You are a liberal. And that was the end of Mr. Dukakis. So I don't even remember. I mean, I remember Dukakis was a bad candidate, but I. You know, he, he'd be. He'd be a. Infatuation with socialism on the part of. Uh, persuasiveness and his energy at least trying to become okay. now where uh, how are we going to pay for this uh, and you remember Milton Americans in the middle class not just uh, not the rich people but the middle class now More than that, if, if they labeled themselves a socialist, that was a kiss of death. But I know who, the, if it's one of the two socialists, Edwards or Sanders, um, he's going to be, that's going to be what all the Republicans. The word itself has become. And in the very liberal 
sort of the Socialist Party of America. Pulled to the left. From and by... Uh They blocked yeah. them out. They, they socialism within a lot of Democrats. Somebody who was adopting some of the Democrats that a good proportion of them say, wait a minute now. In a far distant capital, I want to take care of the Heritage Foundation, also an author of uh, an, an editor or editor of books, including biography. I think this is a good question for you because you. you Would have liked to have gone. Uh, no, he had Republicans in. Any American president said that. Uh, uh, I believe that government has a responsibility to care for the welfare of its citizens. And that's almost a direct quote from his last campaign speech mm -hmm. in 1932. Uh, government has a responsibility. Arrange to be seen. and prevented from going all the way. Well, he was but trying to attack. Slow him up. Uh, consider it really was. Country to most. Long the Depression, correct? Uh, slow it up. All the rest of it. So I think you, you can make that argument, yes. Now, has the lore of socialism... I mean, I know it's more complicated than that in, in, in trying to implement it, but in, in trying to sell it, is that pretty much... What On the the desire of all of us, we want to have kind of perfect utopian society here.
conflict, uh, disagreements and arguments um, among us, uh, uh, wouldn't this be a wonderful world in which to live? So by appealing to the, the, the utopian in Uh, haven't had to pay the had to worry about putting hamburger and uh, most of it. Uh, but uh, that's the reason why at somebody's going to wind up paying for this. Eternity, you're not going to have enough money to pay for this. More moderate Democrats. You know, my favorite of my middle class in the world. Venezuela. tried to sell something called a, a good selling point maybe and put the money turning back you know if the democrats win and succeed in getting that somehow well i think that certainly will be a number one priority of the democrats if they if they win the white house and and the congress Taxpayers, so one one payer. I think an inordinate amount of time for all kinds of procedures, operations, and not so serious things as well. So that would have to part of what's going to be told to the American people. If you want it, okay. But here is, there is no, here is what you're going to pay in terms of your time, in terms of being allowed to pick the physician that you want to pick and work with, the old uh, doctor whom you work with longer possible. So that's going to be a great, great, great debate if the Democrats win. Uh, I've got less than a minute here. Uh, we're talking to Lee Edwards. I'm up against the hard break. Just, uh, just um, if you
who will nominate who will be a not a socialist, will be a semi-socialist, a soft socialist. I think that's the way they're going to go. But I think that the response to that is going to be a very definite watch out, look for that bottom line. And I think that's the position that's going to prevail, not the socialist position. I hope you're right, Lee. I love having you on. Hope to do it again. Thanks. The testimony released Thursday is from George, a career. Traditional foreign policy channels. The transcript of Kent's testimony reveals that Congressman Lee Zeldin of New York asked Kent if he had first-hand knowledge of an effort to evolve the Ukraine and U.S. policy. Kent said he did not. Capitol Hill correspondent Bernie Bennett. Senator Lindsey Graham said the impeachment inquiry is a political vendetta by Democrats. What I can tell you about the Trump policy toward the U.S. Utah, they seem to be incapable of forming a quid pro quo. On Wall Street, the dot by 182 points. The Nasdaq rose 23. The S&P advanced eight. This is SRN News. Accounts into one easy-to-manage monthly payment. A stop to late fees and drastically reduce your interest. You'll pay thousands less than you originally owed. It's not a loan. It's a way to become debt-free and possibly improve your credit score. So call Trinity and talk to a certified counselor. They'll explain their proven program to you with no pressure, just practical solutions and hope for tomorrow. Are you ready to pay off your credit cards in less time or less money? Then call for a free no-obligation debt analysis and become debt-free for keeps. If your debt has you down, we should talk. Gather up your bills and call this toll-free number for a free, no-obligation debt analysis. Call 1-800-990-800. She's listening all the time and getting smarter every day. When you want the conservative perspective on today's most pressing issues, Alexa has the answer. You just have to point her in the right direction. Play The Answer Pittsburgh to get your favorite conservative talk station. a finger. Look, Ma. So, Alexa. You want in three types of material blinds between the glass. Forty-eight months, no interest. Call eight. A state administration is the heart and soul of our practice. We have the experience to help not only plan, but administer your estate properly to protect your assets, minimize taxes, and ensure that your inheritance gets to the ones you love. Decide for yourself. Abernethy and Hagerman. Legal help that lasts a lifetime. Visit a-h.law. You started your business with nothing but a great big idea. They told you it couldn't be done, but that just made you work harder to prove them wrong. Now look at you, ready to take on the world. Speed Pro Pittsburgh's where you're coming from. When they said they wanted to create great big graphics for great big ideas like yours in less time than anyone else, they were told it couldn't be done. Speed Pro Pittsburgh South just smiled and said, oh yeah, watch us. When you need a large format printing partner who can provide high quality visual graphics in stunning detail, from trade show displays to outdoor signs, 3M brand vehicle wrap for your fleet, to window graphics, banners, and decals. Speed Pro Pittsburgh South can handle most jobs in two days or less and can roll with last minute change ups without breaking a sweat. Who says it can't be done? For a free quote, visit speedpropghsouth.com. Stuck in traffic? We've got the answer. Almost everything kind of crawling along inbound on the parkway east and after the, after the shoulder approaching Bay Street.
let's read up to Union. a rapid deployment for the U.S. military. And uh, there's videos, many videos of the terror block. the allocation from Congress right now with funds he's got in hand, an executive order, I'll put terror block on the border, make the border secure, and defend the United States from these drug cartels, and it can be done tomorrow and finished by Election Day. Now, when you say it, uh, it, you can't scale it, why can't I climb over this and, as opposed well, to steal... Okay. It's got a spring mechanism. It kind of, as soon as you try it down, and then pops up and locks. I mean, it's a, take a look at it on the Internet. The visuals make it really easy to understand, but it's it's made of kind of, you can see through the wall, but it's got a surface that you can't cut and you can't grab a hold of, so you can't climb up on it. If you try it with a grappling hook or a rope, it just doesn't work because of how the wall is built. It's designed, remember, if this is good enough, if the terror block is good enough to, pr to protect U.S. troops in foreign combat situations, securing the perimeter of their camps, I, I think it will be good enough to protect U.S. citizens on the border who now, I think, have to fear these vicious Mexican drug cartels that did this horrific massacre of the family that um, we all saw this past week. So tall and steel isn't the answer, and ever has been. cut it. It's a modern materials. It's other modern materials that you know, really are, are strong. And, and you pour earth in the back of it, you know, from a, you just take a, a backhoe or a, uh, you know, pile it in with dirt, and the dirt provides the weight that keeps the barrier in place. Uh, it's a tested wall technology 
and just go to uh, go to any internet search engine and take a look at Terrablock T E R A B L C K at Hesco. You'll see you know, huge semi trucks. They try to drive them through at fifty miles an hour. The Terrablock stops it. They try to scale it and get over it. It stops it. Solution the military is willing to use, and it's available for President Trump. Who I, I think. Military is already using it. And I want to help President Trump get reelected. I fought for this. Jim Gilchrist, who founded the Minutemen. 2006, I wrote that book with Jim Gilchrist. And I've been at this for a long time. Uh, uh, we, we have actually sponsored families from El Salvador. My family has. Uh, we are all for legal immigration. But uh, I think that the illegal, the criminal nature of Mexico, uh, especially with this massacre, everybody, you know, this is out of control, and we need to have border security to protect U.S. citizens. Well, I think it needs to be done right away. Yeah, the terror block, uh, T uh, E R R A B L. OCK um, is what you're talking about. It it just seems to make so much sense because if the military, it, it, if the military needs to get a perimeter set up quickly when they move around, and they with whatever they set up has to be really strong, has to be able to withstand just about anything. Um, you would think this would be one of the first things they'd go for. Maybe it's just that it's never been used on a permanent border before. It's been put up by the military, maybe then taken down or something like that, and it's never been looked at as a permanent thing? I guess possible, also because it's... Uh Order makes eminent sense. Send troops to a combat zone, they're going to. Positive, smart, as well. At Homeland Security, and I know that the Department of Defense has been in, in touch with HESCO, and I'm sure we'll be more in touch after we've given it some notice, for instance, on your show tonight, and thank you very much. But the point is, 
once it's evaluated, I think it's going to be an eminently reasonable solution. Um, the flexibility of it, I think, is particularly important in Texas, where you've got the Rio Grande. You've got and this because it's modular. You, know, you can put a section of it in and configure how you put the sections in will be much better than a steel barrier, which is more adapted to level land and straight lines. And the border in Texas is not configured that way. So I think there's actually a better solution in many ways, the Terra Block, than putting that kind of a wall in. And intuitively, everybody thinks wall, and you think, okay, these big steel structures, and you know, they, they're just not the current modern technological way to solve the problem. You can have an old black or white TV, or you can watch TV in your cell phone. Yeah, uh, we're talking to Jerome uh, Corsi. He's the author of A Minute Men, The Battle to Secure America's Borders. But you're also, Jerome, the author of Silent No More, How I Became a Political Prisoner of Mueller's Witch Hunt. Can you give us the Cliff Notes version of, uh, of that? Right. Book? We have about So in Silent No More, look, when Mueller basically interrogated me for 40 hours and they wanted me to prove their case that I had contacted Julian Assange and given that information to Roger Stone, who's now on trial in Washington, and uh, they passed it on to Stone, from Stone to Donald Trump, and this was the collusion, telling Julian Assange how to use these emails he had stolen from John Podesta. What is Assange? I... Uh, in July 2016, I had a 25th wedding anniversary we were in Italy. I figured out, I connected the dots, and I figured out that Assange had Podesta's emails, and I did tell Stone, and I told many others, and Mueller's prosecutors just couldn't accept that I figured that out on my own. They, they thought I had to have a source. swear to a judge and that I was lying and I really did rather rights. Now, the judge, another po political judge in the district court in Washington this past week declined to take the case, but we're going to appeal it to the circuit court, and we'll appeal it all the way up to the Supreme Court, because I think that Mueller, I can prove that Mueller was a corrupt prosecutor, and that this was prosecutorial misconduct. If they'd had a case, if I had lied, they would have sued me. If I'd done anything wrong in my life, if I didn't pay my taxes or anything else, they would have a case on me to get me. But I pay my taxes, I try to live a moral life, and I didn't lie. I did not contact Assange, and they couldn't prove otherwise, so they could not bring an indictment. They were trying to suborn perjury. They were trying to get me to make their case against Donald Trump by lying before a judge to say I committed a crime I did not commit, I wouldn't do it. Okay, so let's say what, let's say that you weren't the man that you are, and you lied, and you said, okay, I'll say whatever you want me to say. What would that have done to the whole Mueller report? I think that would have made the collusion case that Mueller wanted. I think I was that critical to the entire Mueller narrative. And they, they pressed me. That's why they met with me for 40 hours over two months. Alexander the Great in my former life. I said, this is not mm -hmm. 
six-inch thick book of my life in front of them. They were pulling emails. They were trying to say, you're lying. I said, no, I didn't lie. I forgot that email. I said, I'll amend the testimony. Show me the email. I amended the testimony many times, but I did not intentionally give them information I knew to be false on a material subject with the intent to deceive them. That's the law, and I did not do that, and I would not admit to having done that. They said, You'll never, you won't go to prison. We'll, we'll tell the judge. They, I said, no, I'm not, I'm not going to be a felon because you've threatened me. They made the case up. We're stolen in an internal job within the Democratic. going to have mutual legal assistance treaty with Ukraine. I, I really appreciate you being here. I am completely out of time. i got 10 seconds. Thanks a lot for being here. Appreciate it. Jerome Corsi. My, my pleasure. Thank you. God bless. Thank you very much. We'll be right back. town with the wind, rain, and hail. And out of your roof. Open enrollment is here again. You have a to choose something you hope to never. health plan with the coverage you need at a price that's right for you. 724-884-1496 or at MarleyFD.com. Do you want to get rid of your expensive landline, save money, but keep your important home telephone number? Then OurOldNumber.com has a perfect solution. OurOldNumber.com allows you to keep your home phone number and cancel that expensive landline connection. 
With OurOldNumber.com, calls from family and friends to your home phone. It's still in directory assistance, and no matter where you happen to be, you'll never miss a call. There's no equipment to buy. There's nothing to install. There are no long-term contracts, and it's only $9.99 per month. Best of all, OurOldNumber.com eliminates those annoying sales calls. Now, your home telephone number can be as mobile as you and your family are with OurOldNumber.com to learn more and get started today. OurOldNumber.com. Hi, this is Rep Rasmussen of BestHotGrill.com. Not only do we have great grills, but also the best hot patio heaters. We are the nationwide distributor for brick radiant patio heaters. The best patio heater that you can get. that fit perfectly in backyard and restaurant patios. We have gas and electric models to suit most installation needs and a portable gas heater that directs the heat where you want it, not the bushes and walls like the mushroom heaters. For top quality performance and aesthetics, you want Bromic Radiant patio heaters and Solaire infrared grills. Learn about these amazing Went kind of along with Jerome Corsi. He has some good stuff there. We only have about 30 seconds left here, but I, it gives me enough time to warn you that you should. Uh you, you can't be eating the turkey. Uh, it's meat and meat products. Encourage you to encourage all your friends to have a tofu three weeks from today because if you eat turkey, you're a bad person and you're you don't care about the planet, you don't care about your fellow human beings, and you should be ashamed of yourself. So I'm sure you'll take that advice and just not have turkey on Thanksgiving. Bye. draft.